I actually can't believe how close we really are to 100,000 subscribers. We are now like 1,622 away. That is absolutely unreal. The support recently has been absolutely unreal. So I'm so grateful for that. If you are new to the channel, it would mean the absolute world to me if you guys could subscribe to the channel. Um, it'd help me reach my all-time goal of 100,000 subs. It's been my goal since I started YouTube five years ago. And I'd really appreciate the support if you guys could subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. The last one of these videos did amazingly well. It got like thousands of likes. It was it's one of my most viewed videos for the last like two, three weeks, which I'm very grateful for as well. Uh, the last I rate your teens video. So I'm very grateful for the support on that. Um, and I asked you guys to tweet me with the hashtag it's Haber um, with your footwiz slash foothead links. If you want to be involved in the next episode, um, it's going to be when FIFA 20 is actually out. It's going to be next Sunday. So tweet me screenshots of your um, your teams when you start FIFA 20 so I could uh, so I could see it. So um, uh, Ian's actually sent me his, uh, his FIFA 19 team, but we do have a bunch of footwiz links that we're going to check out now. Make sure when you send me your team that you're following me on Twitter. Let's see if Ian is... He is not, so sadly, uh, Ian wouldn't be featured. Uh, unfortunately, he's just going to be on the screen. Uh, but make sure you follow me on Twitter and make sure you use the hashtag it's Haber to get featured in the next one. Uh, and make sure it's a FIFA 20 team. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So, we've got Jura Kovacic's team over here. It's Haber squad by Jure. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is his FIFA 20 starter squad. And it's a nice hybrid, actually. I like the look of this already. He's got Smalling. I rate that. He's got Smalling and Juan Jesus. First things first. I know you've got the link over here. In-game, swap uh, Juan Jesus and Smalling around. Juan Jesus is left-footed. I know he's got a four-star weak foot, but you'll find that you'll benefit more with Smalling's right foot on the right and Juan Jesus' left foot on the left. Um, aside from that, I actually I like this Man United link down here. The Spanish link upwards is really cool as well. Uh, I like Trossard's looking really good this year. Um, um, I do want to try this card out. Uh, how do I... Okay, I just click on him, I guess. Uh, oh, we don't have the in-game stats for Trossard yet, unfortunately. I would like to see those. Rebic looks incredible as well. But we don't have the in-game stats for Rebic either. But this card looks really, really good. 88 pace, 81 physical, 80 shooting. He looks like he'll be a great, great starter, start squad beast. Which, by the way, this week I'll be bringing you guys a video of players you need to pick up on FIFA 20. So make sure you stick around for that. But no, I like this team a lot. He looks really, really cool. Let's move on now and grab some more. So we have uh, Aaron Dillon's team here. I decided just to go for strength and see what happens. What do you think? All right, so he's just gone with strength here. Antonio's card looks really good this year. Um, I actually like the look of this team. Plea up top, what I would do if I were you, I would actually personally go with Wesley up top. Wesley's got 95 strength. I see you've got him on the bench over here. I would go with Wesley and then possibly... It's a tough one. You can go with anyone from the Premier League here that get the link. I don't know. Maybe you go with... with um, I, again, it's a tough one. Maybe Trezeguet. I don't know what strength Trezeguet's got, but I would personally go with the 95 strength Wesley up here. Um, I actually like this midfield apart from Dyer. Dyer is not amazing, but obviously gets the links. Um, if you could maybe... Bring in like a Harry Winks. I know you're going for just strength, but Harry Winks, I think, would probably play a little bit better. I don't know what Harry Winks' card looks like, actually. I'm going to open up this for uh, for research of, of players, I guess. So look at Harry Winks' card. Oh, definitely. Yeah, Harry Winks looks really, really good. So I'll go with Harry Winks over here. Um, I like this link over here. The, that centre-back looks really, really good. This this guy here looks incredible. 82 pace, 81 physical on a centre-back looks really, really good. Uh, Mario Fernandez looks decent, as always. I like Hernandez and I like Romagnoli. Uh, Romagnoli is really decent at the start. Obviously, his... His pace lets him down later on in the year, but I like it. It's a nice team, actually. I think it's a pretty cool team. I like that you've gone with something a bit different, a little bit of strength. Uh, next up is from S underscore Behuven. Uh, we'll go ahead and check this guy's team out now. Untitled squad. It's got a CSL slash Brazilian hybrid. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm liking the the pacey centre backs. Is a really nice option. Um, oh, we got Mal Malkuit, who looks like a decent starter squad beast. Gets that link with Allen, who looks incredible this year. Uh, Ismaili looks decent. Fabinho's looking decent apart from his pace, but nothing an anchor card or a catalyst or something like that or a shadow would not fix. Um, I like this from free. Alex Shara is probably going to be quite weak as a cam. I would maybe swap to Shara and Arnautovic around. Um, I think Arnautovic would probably be better as a cam with 77 passing than uh, to Shara. Paulinho as well at a cam roll might not be the best. Um, but, I mean, maybe you could try starting in a different formation. Maybe a 4-3-2-1. And then you go with, like, maybe Hulk at right forward. And you go with... Um, Brazilian left forward uh, from the CSL. If there is one, if not, maybe Carrasco and play someone off cam. 
Um, I think you probably benefit more with that and then moving into a 4-2-3-1. Taliska looks decent as always. Allen, like I said, looks really, really good. I can't wait to use Allen this year. He looks solid. Aside from that, I actually I love this back line. I think that back line looks really, really good. I think it's gonna be it's gonna play really well this year as well. Um, moving on now to the next one. So this is from Callum. He said this is his starter team and he sticks with the same formation in game. And then week one slash two with a 4-2-3-1 in game with Suzoko at Cam. So this is his starter team. He's got that Rodrigo over there on the left wing. St. Maximin right wing, Morales up top. That Morales call looks really, really decent. A good super squad. Uh, sorry, a good starter squad super player. Um, he's got that perfect link of Upper Mencano and Konate, which looks solid. Renard Lodi. I've never seen this guy before. He, Renard Lodi, his his image does not Lodi at all, unfortunately. Um, but no, I like this team. I think Ariola is going to be very, very used next year. Coughlin's got a nice card. Endombele looks solid. I think you're going to struggle, though, because Endombele is going to be quite expensive. I can see him being like... 40k at the start of the game. I can see him, I can see him taking uh, Moussa Dembele's sort of price bracket and making that his, you know, the 40 to 50k. Um, and then obviously coming down after. But, you know, if he's in once to watch, he might even rise even more. So I think maybe go with Suzoko here instead. I think you'll probably benefit more with going to Suzoko. Uh, and then this is after week one slash two. This front three um, of the Monaco players is going to get you so, so much. I like the perfect link utilization there. Even though you don't really need it, it's still pretty cool. Um, this trio here looks incredible. Um, this team looks really, really solid. This team is going to look pretty similar to what I imagine a lot of teams will look at at the start of the year. Um, and it looks really good. I am looking forward to playing this every week, this trio. Yeah, that's sarcasm, by the way. I'm definitely not looking forward to it, but no, it's going to be pretty solid. Um, like I said, that front three looks really good. Ben Yedda looks solid. Probably four-star, five-star, as usual. Uh, looks like a really good player in game. Um, I'll definitely be using that card. All right, moving on to the next squad now. We have got... Uh, this is someone that I actually told him to use, hashtag it's Haber. Oh, he actually used it, so GG Callum. Um, if you guys please could use hashtag it's Haber because I actually search hashtag it's Haber to find them. It makes it so much easier than going through my no uh, notifications because my notifications are there's so many of them like like it's just hard to find the squads. Uh, but moving on now, whose team is this? Is oh sorry, we've missed out Matthews first. So let's go with Matthews. So this is this is his first day, so we'll close that. So first day, one month in, and by Christmas, and he's doing a road to glory. So first day. I like it. Onyakuru might be a bit expensive because it's been quite hyped. Uh, Yedlin will probably be quite expensive as he always is. Um, aside from that, I think it's going to look pretty solid. If you can, obviously, grind first few days. If you can get up to getting that play them at the Pookie that's going to come out, that would be big. I think that card's going to be really good. Um, I'm looking forward to doing that SPC when it comes out. Saar looks solid on the right-hand side. This card looks... Uh, sorry, this team looks nice. I like this team. I don't, I don't even know who Ikone is. I have no idea who this guy is. He's a cam usually. Okay. I'd, I've never seen him before. Fair enough. He looks pretty solid. So this is your one month in team. Um, oh, utilizing Sanchez over there. Pavon looks pretty decent. Got the LA Galaxy link now to Ibra. So you don't always have to use Alessandrini. Um, if Ibra gets a solid card again this year, that is. Uh, I like that Spurs trio. Um, I would personally go with... Uh, what's the what's the guy... Oh, what's the guy's name? Um, I forget what his name is. I know you want to use Schultz. Um, but the guy that that used to play for Dortmund, that now plays for PSG, Diallo. I would personally go with Diallo over here and then go with the PSG left back, who again, I can't think of his name. Um, but I just don't think this guy looks amazing. And I think that you probably benefit more with Diallo or possibly Kimpembe. Um, but, and then Bolly over here, again, I'm not too sure about Bolly. If you can get a different option, I go with a different option here. Maybe you go with like a French uh, centre-back like you go with, maybe go with Konate and Upper Mencano, and then you can go with Klosterman at right back and... I don't know who Leipzig's left back is, but that could be an option you could do. Uh, apart from that, it looks pretty solid. I do like it. And then this is by Christmas, hopefully. Oh, Dalglish. Okay. Pretty optimistic, I think. This is this is a nice looking team, though. If you can achieve this by Christmas, then fair play. Because this is a really solid team. I'm guessing you're a Liverpool fan. Um, if you can achieve this by Christmas, then hats off to you, man. Because this team looks incredible. This team will probably play really, really well. And I'm so excited for people to utilize different players. Like, I feel like this year the meta is not going to be tall, uh, fast, strong players only like it was last year like people were using like hullet account and stuff like that i'm looking forward to finally seeing people use ian wright and, and barnes and and dalgleish and and rush you know um i feel like the diversity will be pretty solid this year or i hope so anyway um but i'm looking forward to it, it looks pretty solid I, I do like that a lot moving on now uh it was uh hayden's team here so i think hayden's been on here before as well my starter team uh hopefully not too expensive should be about fifty thousand coins uh, 
it's a nice team. I think so, yeah. And Babu might be a problem. I think babu has been quite hyped. You might struggle with Mbabu, um, and this perfect link might be a bit expensive. I can see it being probably between 50 and 60k, definitely. Uh, if you if if you get in early as well, you'll definitely find it a lot cheaper. Um, but no, it's a nice team. You've got everything you need in this team. I do like it. I like it a lot, actually. Uh, Hector Herrera looks pretty solid as well. Like I said, that Morales card looks really, really decent. I do like this team a lot. I like, I like it. Nice team. Moving on. We have got Jack's team now. Um, oh, I feel bad uh because he's not he's not linked his team here oh wait no 150k squad please okay we can do 150 150k squad when when early access comes out all right so this is whose team is this this is this is jack this is jack's team so this is jack's team did he say anything on it he said this is the starter squad i'm going for got 60k fifa points loaded at the minute so you'll definitely probably be able to afford something close to this definitely this is gonna be expensive though it's gonna be very expensive so courtois alone Every year, it's probably 80 to 100k at the start of the game. And I don't think that will change much this year. Maybe it goes to like 70 to 100k. Eder Militao, I can see being at least 25 to 50k in that price bracket. Just because it's Eder Militao and he's overhyped for the first week or two. Then he might drop. Um, Gomez, again, I can see him being at least 20 25k. 81 pace on a Premier League uh, English centre-back is going to be expensive. Kyle Walker will be 50 to 100k easily because he always is. Uh, Alex Tellers, I can see being at least 20 to 25k because he usually is as well. Rashford, given he's had an upgrade, five star skills, he's a striker, he's central, an easy 35 to 50k at minimum as well. Fabinho will be 35 to 50k because he usually is. Alan, I can see being 20 to 50k. Felipe Anderson will be 25 to 40k, I think. Brandt will probably be like less than 10k, I imagine. Maybe maybe a bit, bit more. Jaden Sancho will probably be about 40, 50k as well because he's really expensive. So. All in all, this team would probably cost you about three to five hundred k, but I think you'll be, I think you'll be able to afford it. A lot of people are saying, "Wow, your prices are so off. They're gonna be so, your prices are so expensive in comparison." They're actually not. If you look at previous years at players that are similar, that is tend to be what the price are at the start of the game. They are always ridiculously expensive, and I understand people don't want to hear it. They don't want to think that players are gonna be really expensive. That's usually how it works, but it's all in 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 relativity because if you pack one of these players you are making that many coins as well so it's, it's completely relative to, to the market and stuff like that anyway moving on we've got a sporting squad this is my first week squad it's a nice cheap bundesliga squad uh skov looks pretty solid as well sabitza looks nice uh delaney decent danny de costa solid option danny costa and schultz are going to be two really solid cheap options at the start of the game zakaria looks incredible uh rashika it's a nice squad Paulson up top very very nice squad uh, moving on now, we have got um, Kieran's. We've got Kieran's squad here. Oof, did he say what you wanted? This is my... Here's my Bundesliga Premier League hybrid starter squad. I wonder how many FIFA points you're dropping because this will be quite expensive. That that front three alone will be very expensive if you ask me. Um, but I like it. I think it looks really cool. I like the aesthetic of the squad. I like what you've done with it. I think it looks really, really nice. Um, I think it'll play really well in game as well. Um, Lucas Moura being central as well. will be really interested to see how many people use him. Uh, moving on now, we've got Gucci Headband Squad. Interesting. Um, he said, uh, start a team for FIFA 20, 4 2 3 1 in game. I mean, I can see it working quite well, actually. Wait, what formation is this? 4 2 4. Ah, oh, it's just because. Wait, they're right mids and left mids now in the 4 2 4. That's pretty interesting. Wonder how that will play in game. Um, it's a nice squad, though. I like it. Uh, Lozano is going to get used a lot this year, I feel like. Joel Linton should be decent. I hope he gets some special cards because if he gets an inform, that'll be a really, really, really usable card. Um, St. Maximin looks pretty solid. Five star skills as well. Um, these two side of mids look pretty decent together. I like it. And and Gulaski in, in net, who's 85 rated and looks pretty decent. So I like that squad a lot. Now we've got um, Sebastian's squad, who's, of course, left me a picture as well. I appreciate that. Um, this is a nice squad. Kai Havertz would be quite expensive. Did he say anything about it? No, he just left the squad. Kai Havertz, I can see being quite expensive at the start of the game. Like, like easily up to the 100k bracket. Maybe even more, given how hyped he was this year. Because what you got to look at, you got to look at how players performed and react and were reacted to the previous year to see how people will react to the start of the game. Kai Havertz got loads of special cards, was really sort of used and stuff like that. Really sought after. So he might get a really high price tag at the start of the game because people want to use them straight away so but that's a nice team i do like that um let's have a good adne squad now um kieran sent his squad again please send your squads once send them on saturday saturday is the best time to send them i will then check them out on sunday or saturday night um but it's a nice hybrid squad here goetze is pretty interesting i don't know about goetze uh, i wonder if uh, forsberg would get your chemistry probably wouldn't but paco akasel looks pretty decent 
Um, Javinia looks all right. Kessie, decent. Kolarov looks pretty decent as well. Uh, Kaldara looks like a nice, cheap option. Same with Kragno. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty solid squad for a starter squad. I think you do pretty well with it. Uh, then we've got Kiris with a K. This is his starter, squ uh, starter, starter team. Um, I like the look of this team. I do. I like this Diego Carlos. He looks decent. Konate as well. Two pretty overpowered looking center backs. Um, Lema, I've never seen this guy before. Um, default center mid as well. Looks pretty overpowered, to be fair. Face card stats alone looks pretty overpowered. And he's going with a full bench of Podolskis. What is even what is even that about? Why have you got a full bench of Podolskis? <laughs> he's got Jao Felix with Rodrigo and Morales. I like that. Party looks overpowered as he usually does. Same with Hector Herrera. That that link there in the middle will be probably used quite a lot this year. Um, Klosterman there at right back who looks pretty solid this year. Uh, Renan Lodi again whose image won't Lodi. <laughs> It's a terrible, terrible picture. And uh, then we have some uh, FIFA 19 squads. And I think that is all for the squads on Twitter for today, boys. So make sure, if you want to be featured in the next episode, send me a squad, whether it is uh, a picture of your squad. Um, please, you know what? As, it's, as FIFA 20 is going to come out, we'll do one more possibly of some foothead and foot, foot whiz links. But please send me HD photos of your squads and I'll check them out in the next video. Um, and I'll review them and rate them and stuff like that. Um, and make sure you do it on Saturday. So Saturday is the best time to do it. Because then on Sunday, I will have the video up in the morning. As usual, as you guys know. You, you guys know the drill by now. Um, but I appreciate all your support. As we said, we are... We've gained a subscriber. We are so, so close to 100,000. It's been my genuine dream goal to hit 100K since I started YouTube way back in like 2014. I want to say it's like June 27th, 2014 is like my YouTube birthday. Um, yeah, June 27th, 2014 is when we started YouTube. We hit 50,000 subscribers on the 28th of September last year. And we are so close to 100,000 this year. Meaning that we've pretty much doubled our sub count in the last year, which is mind-blowing. And I'm very grateful for that. So if you guys could subscribe, drop a like on this video, show some support. I would really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate all the support you guys show me. Thank you all for your epic support regardless. And thank you for watching this video. Make sure you submit some squads for the next one. And I'll see you later.